Hey guys, Noah Bush here, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about an interesting topic about how and maybe if Monster Hunter Sunbreak will actually take advantage of this new technology on Nintendo Switch and see if Capcom will push the game to 60 FPS on the Switch. So a while ago, back in February, a Twitter user called Nikki found out that the Switch and in particular Switch Sports has been listed to be using the Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology from AMD, which is a technology which allows developers to really push AI to bring the best and the most out of their games when it comes to resolution and frame rate. So right now here we're just on the AMD website. Um, and you can see here, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. So I'm just going to read the description. So get a boost in your frames for your games. <laughs> that rhymes. Um, MD Fidelity F FX Super Resolution, FSR, uses current edge upscaling technologies to help boost your frame rate in selective titles and deliver high quality, high resolution gaming experience without having to upgrade to a new graphics card. Which sounds great. we got a video here, which I will show you guys later. 2.0 is coming out. I don't think 2.0 is the version that, that's been um so to be in the switch and scrolling down you can see here with resident evil village with the rx 6900 you can see you can go up to 300 frames where it normally it has 128 and going down to weaker cards you can see the, the frame rate pretty much doubles basically on, on all these graphics cards these graphics cards are more up-to-date graphics cards compared to what's on the switch um here's more of a um, look at Godfall, but for scrolling down, you can see there's a lot of games who take advantage of this technology to really boost up their frame rate and resolution, which is quite fantastic. The technology seems really powerful, and Switch Bot, we're going to see how it actually performs for that game and how it pushes the frame rate and the, and the resolution. But it's more than that, there's another game that's coming out um, soon, which is Life is Strange True Colors from Square Enix, which shows which they read an article actually explicitly saying that they're using this technology. On the switch here we are in this article a deep dive into life is strange true colors on the switch so if i scroll down you can even see um where we go if i had a search for fx super here we go so the beautiful nintendo switch is having it the best of both worlds if you fancy a chilled session on your big team on adults blah 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 Within Life is Strange True Colors, we have integrated the AMD Fatality X Super Resolution technology for when the game is dot, which increases performance to at eight at 1080p without a hit on visual quality. So yeah, another example of of how this game or this technology can boost up the Switch version. Then you have a screenshot here of, of how it looks on the Switch compared to how it looks on PC. Of course, it's not going to look as good on PC. PC can hit higher uh, fidelity, but it helps the technology on switch to push the resolution without having hit to 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 the the um frame rate basically when it comes to monster Hunter, uh sunbreak since it's coming out in summer that's around the time where switch sports would be out and this game life is strange true color should all be out as well so the technology is there for developers to take use of now the question is will capcom actually use it for the game i think ideally they will because the game on pc already hit 60 frames and I think it would be much beneficial for them if they can get both versions on the Switch even to hit 60 frames. It will be a really good um, marketing tool as well to let everyone know that yes, the Switch version of this game actually hits 60 frames as well now. So more people can have a, an idea of where they want to pick up the game on which system. And it will just be great for us hunters as well, being able to hit a higher frame rate for, for Monster Hunter. And possibly even better resolutions or more, or more stable resolutions. But who knows? I mean... It'll be really fantastic to see this type of stuff for the game and i'm quite excited to see where this leads us in the future but one more thing before we go i'm not 100 percent saying this is going to happen as i'm not an insider i don't have any insight on what capcom is actually doing i'm just saying that this is an option that could happen and it would be fantastic if it does all right cool so that's up for this report session guys so this is another wish down i'll catch you guys next time see ya